Second year is over. I got my results about two weeks ago um, and I passed. Um, I kicked first year up the ass and it feels so good. In fact, anyone who knows me in real life knows how much I swear. And my gosh, the feeling is so overwhelming right now, but apparently I don't swear on social media, so I'm gonna keep up that trend. For those of you who watch these videos, and I don't know why you do, but thanks, you will know that my first year, last year, was uh, tough. And thankfully this video is gonna be slightly more upbeat than last year, um, because almost in complete contrast, second year has been so much fun. Uh, and just brilliant from the get-go really. In fact, I just finished watching a little bit of the video I made in October um, where I was kind of cautiously saying, yeah, things are going all right actually. Um, and I, was, I could see that I was quite nervous about saying that because I was just kind of waiting for the moment that it would all just fall apart again, but it didn't. Um, I ended up getting a first because I'm part-time. My modules are split up so I finished 25% the last 25% of first year this year and I did half of my second year modules so my overall average for those modules was a first and I got first in two of my second year modules and a 2-1 in the other one so I'm kind of hoping that that will pull me through um, into second year but it's not all about grades easy for me to say that at this moment but and you know getting a first is wonderful and I'd be lying if I said that wasn't my aim mainly in order to do a PhD without having to do a master's um, but it won't be the end of the world if I don't get a first um, and it's certainly not my main motivation during the year it's at the back of my mind but it's not my sole focus um, anyway so I'm going to tell you now about what I've learned this year I guess that feels like that's become the traditional video that I make um, so there are a few things that we'll touch on I've relearned something I already knew and something that someone very special taught me and taught a lot of other people and that is that the key to success is hard work and perseverance which sounds obvious but I guess we forget that sometimes um, and looking back on this year I would probably say that hard work is the easy part it's the perseverance when things are looking pretty awful um, and holding on to that hope that things will get better somehow um, and that they will improve and this year I have started to see personally that this crazy adventure is beginning to pay off, um, which is very exciting. The biggest lesson I think I've learned this year is that I don't have to go into academia. Um, I still want to, I still want to do a PhD and I've met so many incredible people within and without academia that want to change it for the better because it can quite often be a toxic environment. Um, and they give me a lot of hope and I want to be part of that change if I can as well but I've also realized that there are so many other aspects of physics that I love um, and not just academic physics um, and that there are so many other routes I could take with this degree and still be hugely fulfilled. The other thing that I've learned is that it's okay not to know and not just in terms of, of physics. Um, the question that I get asked most often is which area of physics do I want to go into, especially when I tell people that I want to pursue a career in academia or do a PhD. Um, and the truth is, I have absolutely no idea. I have rather vague 5, 10 and 15 year plans, um, which doesn't sound vague at all. Um, but there's so much wiggle room in those plans that I may as well not have a plan at all. Uh, but I will because I love plans. Sometimes I feel like I want to rush through this stage of, of the journey um, and get on with being a proper physicist, whatever that means, and doing real research and earning a living again. But I'm really, really, really trying to enjoy the journey and I'm genuinely incredibly excited to see where all this leads because I have no idea where I'm going to end up. Um, but there have, been, there have been so many things I've been involved in outside of the degree that make me feel excited about science as much as I do studying it. I've worked at some incredible events um, doing lots of outreach, I've done a lot of outreach this year and what I love most about that is you meet so many people who are passionate about science as well from school kids to the event organisers and it's great to see how far that academic research spreads um, and how collaborative it is and I, I find that hugely, hugely exciting um, and I get to hang out in different cities with my physics buddies and get paid to do it so, for example, this time last year, I was at the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition in London, and that was incredible. I mean, the weather was ridiculous. Um, 
but that was so much fun and I made, I'm going to plug a video now, I made a video for the UON physics channel that I'm really proud of uh, so I'll put it in a thing down there. I'd really like to keep doing more of that and honing my outreach skills maybe even, I don't know, give a talk someday, who knows. Um, but there we are, that was a very very quick wrap up of my year. It's been so much fun, it's been really really exciting. Um, I have no idea where it's going to go but right now I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and a scone. So, uh, yeah. Bye.